Hi kids, it's your old pal Kip with his ridiculous hat, and I'm finishing up the last few of these uh, Hagstrom videos. I guess it turns out I only have 10 vintage Hagstroms. Hagstrom, early 70s, 70, 70, 71, 72. Hagstrom 2B. I know, I know these things. Um, this would have been uh, sort of Hagstrom's attempt to move upscale in the grand scheme of things. This was less of a budget instrument. It is a lovely piece of mahoganoid. Um, and is very, very well made, as you know, and it has all the regular features that Hagstrom has. This one has a couple of minor modifications, but it's otherwise it's bone stock. The switch has been replaced. It came to me with this broom handle. This is literally a broom handle installed as the guy's finger rest. And I don't, I mean, this was, this was a common way to play, according to Leo Fender. I have converted it to left-handed for my daughter, but otherwise it's, it's a uh, bone stock. You can see the lovely sticker on the thing, and I assume those are Van Gent tuners and uh, has the Hagstrom famous thin fast neck. We are on the bridge pickup. And I have to play it upside down. Anyway, neck pickup. Quite fat. Um, quite, kind of like a Gibson. It's a shorter scale, it's a, it's, a, it's a short scale bass. But it doesn't really play like a short scale bass in the same way that uh, it is. And then both. Very nice in the high end and very noodly, noodly, noodly. My daughter is filming and making fun of me. Also features the mute switch of doom. Does nothing. Uh, and we have added a pick holder. But there you go, Hagstrom, say Beautiful. 71, Hagstrom. This one might be a little bit later, judging by the serial. Whatever, thanks for watching.